What do we have here? A Tucson. I love me some Tucson. This is the Tucson TS392 in D2 steel. I've used this one some. Um, not a lot. Um, it's a bit big. I mean, I, I definitely don't mind a big knife. I think it's like a 3.8, 3.9 inch blade, something like that. Good size, for sure. I forget who makes this one. I forget who the designer was. Um, it's got that little X thing on there. We'll put it right up there, whoever the designer was. They did a good job, though. Definitely a cool shape. Very, very good air goes on it. I mean, that's pretty close to hand melting. The way this uh, shape is right here, and then that last little dip there. Your pinky goes right on that perfectly with large hands anyway. I think even small hands would be fine. Um, yeah, I can't see this as being a problem unless you have unusually small or large hands. It's micarta. It's that kind of ugly, waxy micarta that Tucson uses sometimes. Not the best. Um, it's not grippy as micarta normally is. It's almost a little waxy. Uh, it's funny, it feels almost like a plastic kind of. Doesn't have a bad sound or anything. It doesn't sound hollow or weird. Yeah, it feels solid for sure, but yeah, just not quite as grippy or pretty as normal micarta or as, as some micarta is. Even, even some of Tucson's ugly micarta is prettier than this. Um, great action. Pretty good sound. I had a uh, quick stud attached on here, and that was great. It was worked great for flipping it open and stuff. You can pinch it open without a quick stud, but a like a little spidey hole would be cool there, or a quick stud if you don't want just the flipper. But the flipper action works really good. Yeah, it's definitely uh, well done. Detent is a uh, fairly perfect. Got the usual Tucson three-way uh, pivot bolt and then none on the back side. I can't remember if this is a D-shaped pivot or not. I feel like it's not, but could be wrong. Pocket clip is the same one used on like 10,000 different Tucson uh, G10 or Micarta variants. It's got a uh, lanyard hole, of course. Backspacer. I think the backspacer is... Uh, G10. Not sure why they didn't use the waxy micarta too there, but they went with G10, so whatever. Jimping, very good. Thumb position, very good. The choil is just barely good. You sharpen it much more and you're going to start getting into the, the uh, plunge grind. But not bad. The double, dual grind there is interesting, so it's got like a slightly less, or a slightly more obtuse grind here, and then more acute here. It is pretty cute. Nyeh, nyeh. Came very sharp. I've used it a bit, and it's still pretty sharp. I would say it's still shaving sharp. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can hear it. Let's listen. Let's listen. Shh. Yeah, did you hear that? Hair cut and sharp. It's a nice one. It'd be nice to have some better scales on it. Um, otherwise, yeah, they did a good job on this one. Double clutch. Yeah, it can. But like some others, the blade is so... Oh, no, I got past it that time. Let's see, make it double clutch. There we go. So double clutch. But the blade's so long and heavy, it just goes down doesn't bounce back into lock. Like I could probably make it do that. Oh, it's, it's even hard to make it do that. There we go. Yeah. Nice one. Good job, Tucson. Grab you one. Grab you a TS392. Before they're all gone.
Have a nice day.